Good Friday morning to you. Hey, we've made it through another week and it has been a wet and stormy one, hasn't it? Uh, I pray that you made it through the storms and that all that are near and dear to you uh, have weathered the storms this week and have come through it safely. Um, I want to talk to you about the Bible this morning, just, just briefly. I know that you have heard the Bible referenced as God's love letter to us. And I think that's a, you know, it's so much more than that too, but I think that's a great way of looking at it. It's, it's God loving and caring for us so much that, that He wanted us to hear from Him, which is what the Bible is. It's, it's God's Word. It's a living Word. So He's communicated with us in a very personal way by giving us this love way, this love letter, His Word, the Bible. We learn in this love letter that God provided a Savior for us before the foundations of the world. That's in Revelation 13.8. And then, moreover, we learn that we, He loved us even when we were dead in sin. Ephesians 2, 4, and 5. And while we were still His enemies, Romans 5, 6 through 10. The manifestation of, of His love reaches its pinnacle when God sacrificed His beloved Son in order to redeem us unto Himself. John 3, 16 and 1 John 5, 9 and 10. As His beloved children, we were never fully grasp the breadth and length and depth and height of His unfathomable love. Ephesians 3, 18 and 19. But if we would read God's Word as a love letter, oh, how it would profit our souls. And let me you know, give you a bit of an example of what I mean by that. Think of a young woman in days past. Maybe go back to the wars, World War I, World War II, and a young woman back here in the States, greatly in love with her fiance who is overseas fighting, separated by many, many miles. And of course, this was the days long before email and other instant means of communication. How do you suppose she would read a letter from him? As soon as the letter arrived in the mail, you know, don't you know that she would rip it open and quickly read it from beginning to end with great interest in knowing that he's okay and that he's thinking of her. And then she would read it again, this time very slowly. She would look at every word. She would ponder the meaning. She would lovingly, she would meditate on every single phrase and think to herself, I wonder why he said this. I wonder what he's thinking when he wrote that. She would read every sentence many times and even after she had finished reading the letter, the content would still fill her mind with delight. She would remember what was contained in the letter and she could recite most of it by heart. She would continue thinking about it throughout the day and in her bed at night. What if we read God's letter to us like that? How would your life change? Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you that you have protected it through time and that what you have given us is your living and acting and loving word to us. Oh, give us a desire to read it. And Father, speak to us when we do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.